how to find portals isn't the most obvious thing. So here's a concise yet detailed explanation of how to do so and everything involved. Portals are singular per planet and are quick and easy to find. Just a few steps that with preparation will take you just a few minutes. Firstly, you are going to want a race item. By this I mean one of these three specific race items, Gek Relic, Corvax Casing or Viking Dagger. The one you need is related to the race that controls the system, so either when hovering over in the galactic map, or just look in your discoveries page of the main menu, you will be able to check which race runs the system you are in. As you can imagine, it is a Gek Relic for Gek, Corvax Casing for Corvax, and Viking Dagger for Viking. The easiest method of obtaining these by far is by buying them from ships that land trading posts. But there are also multiple other ways. Some will drop from the green crates you see lying around at points of interest. You can even obtain them in step 2 if you wish to just repeat the step instead of hunting for a trading post. Finding a trading post is incredibly easy if you have the required tech. I am talking about the economy scanner. The economy scanner not only allows you to see the economic details of a system in the galactic map before you have visited it, but also allows you to scan for trading posts via the pop-up hood menu, it's under the cog. For information on obtaining the economy scanner and everything Starship related, check this mega guide out, it has everything you could ever want to know about ships in it and is linked in the description. Once you have your race item or before if you want to skip step 1, you will want to pop down a signal booster. For this you are going to need navigation data. These can be found in buildings regularly as well as often on one of the desks or tables in a space station, on the blueprint side, which is on the left as you fly in. Use your navigation data with the signal booster to search for artifacts. This will give you a waypoint to one of three location types, a ruin, a plaque or a monolith. What you are after is a monolith, so you may need three of those navigation data. Once you have the waypoint, head to the monolith. Before interacting with it, be sure to grab the three new words from the surrounding knowledge stones that may prove useful in the riddle if you skip step 1. The monolith upon interacting will present you with a riddle. As well as this, it will have another option at the bottom, which is to locate a portal. Using the race item with this option will give you a waypoint to the portal on that planet, except for in some cases which I'll go into shortly. If you skip step 1 and so don't have the race item, you're going to need at least one more navigation data than otherwise, because you are going to do the riddle. Upon correctly answering the riddle, you will usually be given the race item required, but doing the riddle will close off the monolith, preventing you from locating the portal with it, which means you will just need to find another monolith. Be sure to search for the other monolith while at the first or very far away as there is a system that prevents very close points of interest from being the one you are directed to. If you are close to it but not close enough, it may direct you back to the monolith you can no longer use. You can however solve the riddle after locating a portal which can be useful for gaining another race item to use later as the item used will be consumed in the process. Once you get to the portal before you can use it you will need to charge it. I won't go too much into this as I go into this in great detail in the portal's guide, which as usual is linked in the description, but you just need to recharge the DHD at the portal using some substances. Taking 300 carbon, cobalt and sodium will pretty much cover you with this. Charging of the DHD only has to be done once, it will not persist through other players games. You'll likely also want to bring a beacon if you ever want to return to the portal as the waypoint will disappear once you reach it. Now, that outlier situation where it may not show you the portal on the planet you are doing this from is when you have already searched for a portal in that system. It will often bug out a little and just send you right back to the first located portal in the system, regardless of whether you are on the same planet. But there is a good solution for finding the rest of the portals in the system, which will also require the least effort. You use the first portal to find the rest. Once at the portal and the DHD is charged, interact with the DHD and find out the address to the portal you are at. Note the address down and dial the address again, only this time change the first glyph of the address to bird, face, diplo, moon, waypoint or boat. Skipping the one the address already uses of course. These glyphs have numbers, bird is 1, face is 2, diplo 3, etc. 
The first glyph of an address refers to the planetary index for the planet the portal resides on. The closest planet to the space station is 1 and so forth. Sun which is 0 or Scarab which is 7 cannot ever be a glyph used as a planetary index as each system has 1 to 6 planets in it. If there is no planet that the glyph is related to for the index, the portal will default to the first planet in the system dialed. When cycling through the planets in the system, just pop a beacon outside the portal to note its location, or just note its long and latch via the analysis visor. Lastly, if you are wondering what I'm talking about with glyphs, they are like the numbers on a phone, you will need to unlock them to use a portal to travel anywhere. I go over briefly how to obtain them in the portal's guide, though if you want a more detailed video on how to efficiently obtain them, there is a glyph specific guide also. If you would like to learn more about the various things covered in this guide, then check the description for playlists and links to many other guides. Special thank you to all of the fine folks supporting Zane's World on Patreon and through the join button below. Your support is truly appreciated. Lots more coming. Subscribe so you don't miss out.